think with rugby it's, it's a great family game. I knew that it was going to be a massive part of my life rugby because it's, it's a massive part of my family. We've got a history in Wales as a rugby nation that we, we surprise people and we certainly punch above our weight. My father played for Neath RFC when they were big back in the day. There was no regionals then, so the club rugby in Wales was huge. He went on to, to play for Wales and to manage Neath RFC. So yeah, he's, he's a big name in, in Neath. I'm one of uh, three brothers. You know, all of us played uh, kind of around about the same time. So there was no real history in the family. So we were kind of first generation of rugby. But as far as Charis was concerned, I think, I'm sure she's about five or six to play at junior rugby up in Skewin. I mean, my cousin, uh, very, very close uh, when we were younger, and um, I went along with him. Yeah, and I started then, I, and I, as soon as I, I started playing, I loved it. That's a, a mixed teams then, tackling and you know, all the usual stuff, and then, and then obviously went into all girls then, when they get to a certain age, and, and kind of uh, just developed from there. You know, it wasn't so much, oh, she's going to play rugby for Wales. It was, uh, it was just seeing a natural sport in movements, etc., and being able to pass the ball, being able to catch it comfortably. But, uh, you could see that she learned the game quickly and she'd be able to adapt quickly and also share the skill set. Got my first cap in 2013. I absolutely loved it. Like, I wouldn't want to play for any other team with any other girls. I think the family that we have um, is unbelievable and. Yeah, I enjoy every moment of, of being in the sport. Certainly uh, proud of what Karis has achieved and how she's developed and how, how she, what she's become. Um, but also kind of mindful of more what other people think rather than, than uh, between Karis and myself. You know, we just get on with things as a rugby player and a coach. You know, I, I think we get the balance right. It's quite a new role for, for my father to be involved with, with the Welsh women or, or women's rugby. He came in the autumn series of 2016. So yeah, I've been in about three or four years before um, he came in to coach. Karis has already got 20 or so caps by the time I come on the scene. She already capped in Wales as well. So there's a lot of things that took a bit of pressure off the father-daughter scenario. Obviously, there's talks about, oh, it's your dad, etc. But we don't have any issues with it. When we're in camp and in training, we don't feel any different. Our relationship as player coach is very professional and I think that's that's the main thing that for everyone else to know and see as well that there's no you know favouritism or favours given my way. I think he's done great things for the women's rugby. It's, it's growing massively and yeah it's just exciting to see where, where we can we can go ahead in the future. We've had a few warm-up games leading up to this World Cup. We've shown that we, what we can do. Um, we're very happy with where we are at the minute. There's obviously a few fine-tuning things that, in, that we need to put into place, but I think overall um, we're in a good place uh, heading into this World Cup. We have New Zealand, Canada and Hong Kong, so we have second and third in the world in our pool, but if you want to be the best in the world, you have to play against these teams. We've got great opportunity to show to show everyone what we're about and just I can't really put into words how excited I am for it all to start really. I want to give these girls a lifetime memories from, from this competition. And if a lifetime memory means standing at the end holding a trophy, we'll take that. If it's just having a fantastic time, having that camaraderie, having that ability to look at each other in the eye side by side and have that utmost respect for yourself and each other, then you know that's not far from actually holding a trophy.